day of our arrival. For a beautiful and good future. Cheers. First up tent in making cheese. The milk has been heated up at uh, the required temperature, kind of. <laughs> Hopefully it should be okay. And now we need to add the runnet drops and let's see what happens. So it's a little bit of an update. <laughs> in our cheese making challenge <laughs> the previous one I heated up and put the rennet in but after half an hour nothing happened so I decided to change the pan the bowl where it was it because I think that one might have been the wrong one because it was metal usually metal is not advised to be used like cast, not, not cast iron, but the sort type of method. It's not advised to use when you do chemical experiments. So I try to change it in a nice stainless steel uh, pan. And I even try to put a bit more rennet. And now it looks like something is working as. As you can see, the surface, it looks rubbery, like it's not breaking when I'm putting the spoon in, so hopefully it's finally curding and we should have some sort of cheese soon. Sorry for the mess, unfortunately, when you do these things in such a small, small place, it gets messy very easily. Here we are, the moment of truth. <laughs> Let's see what happened. So 20 minutes has passed and uh, yeah, it looks pretty rubbery. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Hopefully the rennet hasn't been too much because I had some problems as the first batch didn't come through. I added more, but I hope it hasn't been like too much of it. But Yeah, that looks... That looks... Pretty cheesy to me. Oh wow, that's a lot. I'll try to give it a little taste to see if it's like sweet enough because I'm a bit worried that if there has been too much rennet it's gonna be quite like bitter. But hopefully it's gonna be fine. Okay, we had a little <laughs> taste test and uh, actually the, the flavor is amazing. It's very sweet and 
like creamy. There's a tiny little bit of bitterness, but I think it's because there's still a lot of whey liquid and that's, that's bitter. Now we have two options. We can either, at least, well, it's my first time making cheese, so that's what I read <laughs> online on YouTube. There are, there are two options at this point. I can either warm it up to harden the cheese, or I can leave it like that and start transferring in one of these thingies. I don't know. <laughs> I'll think about it and I will come up with something. So I've decided to start filling this one first and then we'll try to put a bit more in there. But this time we'll try to not reheat it. Let's go simple <laughs> and let's see what happens. Of course this one needs to drain much more but looks it looks like cheese. Here it is. After pressing, most of the water came out. Of course, these are fresh cheese, so it's still quite rubbery and watery. There is some more cheese left in here, so I will try to put it in the cheese cloth and try and make some be more harder kind of cheese. 